Slay to your enemies. Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the Chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Cavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? Let's go. Good. This way. The outpost isn't far. Guarding the memorial grove? Maybe you can catch him some fights in your room. You know, the rebels aren't going to give up without a fight. Then we'll have to give them one. The bloodshed won't end until Regala is defeated. But what matters is the soldier they took captive, Nikala. She's been their prisoner for some time now. She's my only lead to finding Kavo. We'll get her back. And then Kavo too. The outpost should be just ahead. You take point. I'll follow. I should lie low. Find whoever's in charge and take them out. Maybe then the rest will leave. Fire won't help here. Did you... did you see that? Don't strain yourself. I think I saw something. The battle!
That's all of them. Our scouts said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. There. That's the post. Well, no Nakala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. There. Tracks leading away from the post. Where do they go? There's rope. Just enough to bind someone. Blood. From the rebels or Nikala? Dead end. No. I think there's something under that wood. Take my hand, Nicola. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplain? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? <sighs> Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. How'd you end up here? We're looking for Cavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. Cavo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cavo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet. We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. Telling the truth. Listen to him, Aroki. Decca, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Aroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the Chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Cavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan. Your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want, after we stop the attack. If Cavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up, or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. 
Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Kavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Kavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. The campfire that Cavo mentioned should be nearby. What's taking so long? They should be here already. Someone's waiting ahead. Rebels. Friends of Cavo's? We're gonna have to get to that campfire. waiting to ambush whoever should be. Cavo has some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Oroke. Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, or okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. This way. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this.
is everyone? No rebels, no machine. What did I say? Over there, at the falls. Blood of the dead. If that thing runs to Falls Edge, it stands no chance. Stop. Right here. Nothing will stand in our way now! We did it. Cavo, you're bleeding. I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning, you saved many lives today. Come on. Let's get you back to Falls Edge. Uh, I guess... I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Decca know what happened. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cavo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the Lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Falls Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo. on how you're doing you mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you but isn't you down in the basement guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us huh a little <laughs> varl said she may be able to help us in our mission though maybe there is something i'd like to discuss it's about the land gods if you have time that is You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called Control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. 
Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. This is where Zoe said we'd find the Grim Horns she needs parts from to heal Plainsong's land gods. I should let her know I'm here. Hey, Zoe. I'm near the Grimhorn site. Can you join me? I'll be there soon. Aloy, I'm glad we can do this together. The Grimhorns we're looking for should be just to the north. Let's go get those control cores. Thank you again for helping me. If this works, if we can heal the land gods, it will end a generation of suffering for my people. How do you think Fane and the Chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. I've had my disagreements with them. There. I'd the like Grimhorns. to see they'll be happy to be wrong on this. I guess if Festus was busy making hunter killers. Traps. I think this used to be a Tanakh hunting ground. Okay. Maybe we can use them to our advantage. You've made yourself a target! We did it. You okay? A bit more. You've got the control cord? I'll be here. Two control cores as requested. Thank you. Gaia showed me a way to scan them and take what we need to update the reboot code. I'll head back to base and get started. When I was a child, there was always enough to eat. The land gods provided for us, and every season we celebrated them. My happiest memories come from those times. Do you really think we can bring them back? We'll make it happen. Thank you, Aloy. So we'll probably need some time to sort through those cores. I should do something else in the meantime. Think we could talk for a bit? Of course. Now that you have those control cores, are you ready to reboot the land gods in Plainsong? Not yet. Gaia told me the reboot code has to be altered using data from the cores. She updated my focus with software, to accomplish this task, but apparently it's very complicated. It'll take time. Well, let me know if you need any help. I will. I have to go now. Farewell. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Not. Can't be. 
then I scrambled my Talana. Glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Osiram knocking at your door. And you are? This is Raggard. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thornmarsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but he was dead set on going. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine, I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Smoke. Could be from a camp. Maybe I should check it out. Some kind of Osram camp? How'd they end up out here? Notice machine riders. Thorn Marsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well, I'm here now, so spill it. Who is Amadis, really? We met out in the wilds, after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine that was threatening a nearby village. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then he trusted me with the truth, told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. She was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was all right, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield, but when he learned that the Tanakh took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on then. Do you think Nessa might still be alive? I doubt it. Any Karja prisoners from the Red Raids would have been killed or returned home by now. Then what's Amadis after? I think he just needs to know. Flaming hunk of scrap. That's him. Oh, oh, that fire claws right on his heels. He's in mesh for it alone. Come on. Got you. Solana. We've got your back. <laughs> 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 
Talana, I... You were supposed to let me know you were okay. I was going to send the message right after I crossed into the desert with an Osaram caravan. But when it became clear that the tunnel had collapsed behind this, I figured the only thing I could do was press on. Seeing as you found a way out here, however, clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was to worry you. So, you must be Amadis. And you must be Aloy. Talan has told me a lot about you. And I guess you must know about me. Uh, a little. We know you're headed for the rot. But what are you hoping to find there? A clue. Or a shred of one. Anything about Ness's fate. Maybe she died on the battlefield. Or maybe she wasted away in that prison. Either way, I have to know. Well, we're here now, so let's head to the Rot. I can't ask you to come with me. I feel bad enough you've come this far. I didn't come all this way just to leave you now. We'll see this through together. I know better than to try to talk you out of it. Come then. The Rot's not far. The Rot's along the shore, but we'll have to stick to the woods to avoid being seen. How did you find it? I overheard a Tanakh patrol from the nearby village talking about it. Figured it out from there. What were you gonna do if we hadn't found you? Take it on alone? I only need to question one guard. Figured I'd grab someone when they're by themselves. Well, now you have us. We're getting close. There it is. The rot. Those are Regal's rebels. They're waging civil war against the rest of the Tanakh. They must have taken over the prison. Then they would have killed any of the guards. They were my last hope of finding out if Nessa was there. Maybe not. There might still be some clue inside. Even after all this time? Aloy can see much more than you or I. And let's do it. Any scrap of hope is better than nothing. We'll have to find another way in. The front gate looks impenetrable. And there's no way we're scaling those walls. You two stay here. I'll see if I can find another way in and get that gate open. I should check around the sides. Might be a way in from the water. Get to the main gate to let Talana and Amadis in.
taking my shot! Get back! End of the line, Outlanders. That device is gonna call a machine. I think that's the end of it. Hear that? I can grab this from my... Here. Door's locked, but that last rebel had a key on it. Freed by Karja? Have we not been humiliated enough? It's not their fault you were locked up in your own prison. I'm looking for information about a Karja soldier. She might have been a prisoner here five years back. Her name was Nessa. The Karja Nessa was here. I killed her myself. Nessa? I'll handle this. Go secure the grounds. It's you, isn't it? Nessa, how? It's Why? It's Rataka. Uh, let me get this straight. You were Nessa. You were brought here as a prisoner during the Red Raids and then became Tanakh? The Karja forbid women from military service. I lived my life pretending, ashamed of who I really was. But the Tanakh measure a soldier only by their strength and resolve. So I took my place among them. Ness... Rataka, I've mourned you for five years. Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I had a new life. I wasn't going back. Not even for you, Amadis. What will you do now? You've taken back the rot. My squad will ensure it stays that way. So this is it? After everything we've been through, 
This is goodbye. It has to be. My place will always be here, and yours is back east. I'm sorry that you've suffered. You deserve better than how the last five years have treated you. I'll make sure you're granted safe passage out of the lowland. Consider it Nessa's final farewell. At least now you know the truth. Somehow it hurts worse. You must think I'm an idiot. No, I just think you have a lot to figure out. I'll take you back east to the Sundom. After that, I don't know. Talana, I understand. I'm sorry it came to this. Me too. Give me an Aloy a moment. Are you all right? To be honest, no. What's going to happen between you two? I'm not sure. He clearly has a lot more feelings to sort through. And I won't be anyone's second choice. I want you to have this. For seeing this through with me. No hawk could ask for a better thrush. Or a better friend. So, I guess this is it then. You're heading back east. I think I'll hang around Baron Light for a while before returning to Meridian. If you find yourself back that way, look for me there. I will. Safe travels, Talana. Maybe I should check in with her the next time I'm at Baron Light. Seems like she could use a shoulder to lean on. An honor champion. I'm Nako. Have you been out to the Valley of the Fallen by chance? Don't think I have. Why? What's there? My idiot little brother. The Valley is a test of endurance and skill from my clan, the Lowlanders. But it's been closed for months, Commander's orders. There have been reports of strange lights off the coast, and the whole area is crawling with deadly machines. But Dax, reckless and bare-armed as he is, went in any way. Never takes no for an answer. Convinced two others to go with him, too. They've been missing for days, and now Marshal Ivira has been sent in to bail them out. Strange lights, deadly machines, and missing soldiers? Sounds like a lot, even for a Marshal. I'd go by myself, if I wasn't stuck on transport duty. I'll find your brother, if I can. Where is this valley? South of here, towards the coast. Look for the climbing path on the cliffs. It marks the start of the valley. And if you see my brother, knock him on his ass for making me worry. It can't be good. I should look into it when I'm out that way. You saw what happened if Chloe and I did. Marshal Vera, I heard you were sent to rescue some Tanakh who went into the valley. I'm guessing you must be one of them. Where are the others? See, they didn't make it. I had to fight off several machines just to get Kanala out. The valley was closed months ago for good reason. Machines have gathered in number, as if they're drawn there by something. Not to mention the strange glowing lights off the coast. The valley is cursed. We never should have gone in. A lot of machines in one place. Sounds bad. I better look into it. See if I can put a stop to it. Then I'll come with you. Fight by your side. No. Better let me take a look first. Trust me, it's for the best. I guess if you insist. Once you're in the valley, head for the Great Falls and the cliff south of the Metal Devil. The machines seem attracted to those sites. Got it. Thanks. We'll rest here a while more, then head for the Medic and Falls Edge. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Machines to the world. Sounds like some kind of lure. 
screenshot. I'm in luck. A few months without use and this trail's falling apart. <coughs> or is this part of the trial? Okay, better follow the trail. Hope this bridge holds up. That is a long way to fall. I gotta climb up higher. This really is a trial. Oh, made it. Now to find the waterfall and the cliff south of the horse. If you were mentioned, deadly machines were gathering near there. Good machine. A bad one, too. Another dead machine. Dead to Nox. That must be Dax. Nako's brother. Glowing lights. This must be the Zenith base. Looks like they have a shield around the entire place. Of course, they'd make their base on their own private island. But, back to the current problem. I've got to check out the areas of Vera mentioned. Near the big waterfall and south of that Horus on the ridge. and killing machines, as promised. If I'm right, there should be a lure around here. I might be able to find it with my focus. Frost ammo could help here. Machine motor. Just what I thought. 
But this one looks advanced. Let's see what's tech. I'm gonna take a closer look. There's data here. Looks like a log. From something called the Julius? Some Zena family? Is it attracting machines to kill intruders here? Well, at least this lure shut down now. I should head to the cliff south of the forest. There might be another lure there. I should be able to climb up here. Okay, I think I'm in the area of the I mentioned. There's definitely deadly machines here. If there's a lure nearby, my focus can help me find it. Down a thunder jaws always a good challenge. Look around. See if I can find a lure. Another lure. Better deal with it. Another weird log from the Julius. 
This one mentions a third lore close by. I better check it out. It looks like I was right. The Zenus left these things here to draw in machines and protect the approach to their base. the lure. I have to take out these machines before I can shut it off. Do I have any fire ammo on me? Should be able to override the lore now. Gotcha. That should be the last one. And looks like there's a recruiter here. Hey, shithead. I got a task for you. The Julius is ready to serve. Shut up and do what you're told. Use the indigenous robots to keep this place clear of local vermin. I'll do it myself, but Gerard says. I have to stay focused, so have some fun for the boat. Will do, Benefactor Visser. You can count on the Julius. So Eric left a simple AI in charge of the lures. Looks like it shut itself down when I overrode the last one. Oh, I better get to that wounded to Nox. See if they're okay. What's the Notlander doing all the way out here? Clearing the valley? You must be one of the missing to Nox. Everyone thought you were dead. Nearly. Dax and Kanala, are they... Kanala's alive. Marshal Yvira pulled her out. Speaking of... Aloy! Yvira, couldn't stay away, could you? And miss my chance to hunt with the champion in the Valley of the Fallen? Never! And I see you found Eva... Now this looks like a fight. You with me, Marshal? My blade is yours! Ten. We get to kill these things? What are they?
you back up. I think I took care of all the lures. I should let Avira know. I'll be right back. She needs a medic, but she'll live. Thanks to you. Gotta say, every time we meet is the best day ever for fighting. That battle was something else. And those weird machines. Do you think there'll be more? No. I figured out what was causing the machines to gather in the valley. And put a stop to it. Oh. Good news for the clan, then. You don't want to fight more of those things, Ivira. They're not like other machines. The masters they answer to see people as... Inconveniences. They'd kill anyone without a second thought. And eventually I'll have to deal with them. The light's offshore. Is that from them? Yeah. It's a kind of shield to protect the island. The machines drawn to this valley were meant to kill anyone who got close. Meaningless slaughter. But definitely something for a champion, not a marshal. Here, take this then. It might help with what lies ahead. Thank you. For that, I should be safe enough for a while. But you have to tell the rest of the Tanakh to stay as far away from that island as possible. By the Champion's word, I hope our paths cross again, Aloy. Eh,